back to Haven Virtual University. You know, these are fun, aren't they? How can training be this fun? Ah. It's Haven. It is. It's Haven. That's right. Today we want to talk about connecting your Haven system to a different application that a lot of people don't think about in the commercial world, and that's getting bigger and thinking bigger with hotels and universities. There are several different applications, and not just limited to hotels and universities, but those are the those are the ones that tend to have the key attributes yeah. all the time. Number one is that a lot of the hotels will have a firewall to where when you attach to their network, they will throw up a web page at you and either ask you for your last name and room number or at least to say you'll follow their terms and conditions. Clearly our transformers cannot hit buttons or, or fill out any forms. And so what needs to happen is, is that you need to get on what's called the whitelist. And the reason that we're telling you this now is because this usually takes time with a lot of these hotels. University is a little bit different, we'll get into that next, but with the hotels, what you wanna do is you don't just wanna go do a demo at a hotel on, on a whim, just like you would any other site. Mm -hmm. You wanna prepare, uh, a lot of times you, we have to get their IT involved. Yeah. A lot of times with these hotels, they're corporate IT, so you're actually talking to somebody that's not on site and getting approval that way. And what you're gonna need is the MAC address of the units that you're attaching and then what they can do is put that on a whitelist for that router and allow it to pass through the internet without getting that website pop up. Yeah, so the good thing about us too is their support that we were offer. Get our engineers involved and speak with the IT department of municipalities or, or hotels, universities, whatever it may be, yeah. in this case hotels. Now with the universities, what we found is they have, in recent times, really locked down their systems pretty hard. Now, what they do have in most of them, because the college students have PS4s or PS5s or whatever they're up to now, PS16s, uh, Xboxes, things like that, which need connected to the internet. And so what they will have are these pieces of hardware that are local that allow the students to connect these devices to the internet. That's generally the way that we connect at these universities. So again, you can't just show up and expect to do this. You can do it with a hotspot, something like that, that we've already covered, or you can preemptively contact the university and say, I'm going to do this, here's what I'm gonna need. Yep. Different universities call them different things, but if you tell them you know, the same thing that a student would use to connect a smart TV, a PS4, any Xbox, anything like that, that generally will work as well. So last case scenario is that I'm gonna walk you through um, how if you haven't done all, any of those things and you need to do a demo, exactly how you can do that without using a hotspot and it's gonna require a laptop. So we'll walk you through that and that'll just give you one more option in your tool bag that you will have to get a demo done. Okay, so what we can do is if, let's say we are at a hotel uh, or at a university, places where we can connect our laptop to the network, but we can't do this because it can't hit a, an approval button or anything like that. So what we can do is we can create a mobile hotspot with actually our computer, uh, which will get us around a few things in those in those situations. So uh, what you're gonna wanna do is go down to your Wi-Fi settings. You're gonna wanna connect to the local Wi-Fi network or whatever whatever network's available that, had a, that has internet. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the Windows and you're gonna type in Network settings. And down here you will see mobile hotspot. And that is what we are looking for. So if I click on mobile hotspot, I can turn that on. And here I can edit the name and password of the hotspot. So I could name this Chris. I'm gonna name it the same thing as my phone network that we did. And here I'm gonna select any available 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. And we suggest that you select 2.4 gigahertz. And if you hit save there, now all of a sudden your computer has turned into a mobile hotspot. The controller is connected to my phone right now, but if I turn off my hotspot on my phone, then it will automatically connect to my hotspot because it's the same name and same password on my computer. What will happen is the device will connect to the computer, the computer will pass it through through its internet connection up to our server. So that's just the final out and we've run into a few situations to where even at a hotel where they were blocking one of the IoT ports that we were using, 
and this is how we were able to get around that to do a demo until we could get it that figured out with their IT department. This is a good out that will get you by different situations to where uh, you can connect to your hotspot on your computer. Your computer will be the funnel through their network. Gotcha. So just kind of as a last case resort. You don't have to use this very much. Mm -hmm. It is handy to have in the bag though. Yep. Thanks for watching.